Do, do you think on the teaching side, um, uh, what's your take on, on some of the teachers that do have practical experience versus zero? Yeah. So I'm one where I came straight from a PhD program into an academic role. That wasn't my ultimate plan. Um, I wanted to go into industry for five years, but um, the right job was available at the right time. And I just, right. So, so as I was graduating, there was a job open and, and it, it just, the timing worked out for me. Um, but man, I wish that I had industry experience at times. Um, and I think that's why it's so important for me to continue to do research um, and to stay engaged in kind of industry committees and different things and, and be in the field, going to mills and doing different things because it's really easy to get caught up in our theoretical world right. of academia. And that does not our, it doesn't do anybody justice. Um, so our students would get a disservice and um, certainly the industry. And so I think it's, it's important for us to maintain as close of that industry connection as we can. Um, there are some of the most phenomenal teachers who can tell you firsthand stories from their five or 10 or 15 or 30 years in the industry first before coming back into academia. There are others who gain that experience like I did through a consulting role or through working with, with industry and research experiments and, and, and projects. And so it's just different, um, but I certainly think that we need to give value to all of those experiences and maintain as industry relevant as we can.